Genesis chapter number 40. We're going to read two verses of scripture. It is my custom to appeal to you, everybody, whether you are watching in house or you are watching in the overflow, please stand. Stand. Stand for the reading of God's word. In house, overflow, please stand. Uh, let's read from verse number 12. And Joseph said to him, This is the interpretation. Of your dream. The three branches. Are three days. Now. Within three days. Pharaoh will lift up your head. And restore you. To your place. I wish I had people saying amen. amen. And you will put. Pharaoh's cup in his hands. According to the former manner. When you were his butler. Read verse 14, everybody. He said, but remember me when it is well with you. Please show me kindness. Make mention of me to Pharaoh. And get me out of this house. Mm. Remember me when it is well with you. And show me kindness. Make mention of me to Pharaoh. And get me out of this house. Lift your hands and say, Lord. Get me out of this house. Come and say, Lord. Get me out of this house. God bless you. You may be seated. Hear me, child of God. There are four things that God taught me to tell you in this service. And these four things are the four agenda of heaven in your life in this season. And I want you to take note of these four things. In the scripture that we read, the Bible says, after Joseph interpreted the dream of the butler, he made four requests to the butler. He said, remember me when it is well with you. He says, and show me kindness. He says, and make mention of me to Pharaoh. He said, and get me out of here. Child of God, these are the four things that heaven wants to tell you in this hour of your life. God said to tell you, number one, he says, I have remembered you. All the people are too quiet now. I wish you can high five your neighbor. Say neighbor. Don't you worry now. Heaven has remembered you. High five somebody else. Say neighbor. I know you have been praying. I know you have been fasting. You have been asking God, oh Lord, how long more? I came to tell you, heaven has remembered. He's bringing answers to your I feel power. Heaven has remembered your labor in the body of Christ. Heaven has remembered your tears you cried. Heaven has remembered the injustice you suffered. And God said to tell you, the reason of remembrance is pulling you out, out of affliction, out of the house of bondage. I found your neighbor said, the Lord has remembered you. Say rejoice, he has remembered you. Oh my God, my God. 
Hear me, child of God. Hear me, child of God. The Bible said, number one, he said to the butler, he said, remember me when things are well with you. We are in bondage together. He said, but in three days, your door is about to open. You are about to enter the palace. You are about to be restored. The years that was taken from you, God is about to restore you. Overnight, you are about to be restored. And the Bible said, three days after that day, one, two, three, I'm talking three days, 72 hours after that prophetic word. The Bible said it was Pharaoh's birthday. And he remembered the man he put in prison. And by one word, I feel power. He pulled him out of the dungeon and put the cup back in his hands. The man was restored from the prison to the palace. I rose to prophesy by the power of the Holy Ghost. I don't know what you lost yesterday. I don't know what they took from you. But I came to announce to you, you are about to be restored. Heaven is restoring. God is restoring. All the years you lost, the folk that look down on you, God is restoring you. The money you lost, the career you lost, I feel power. The relationship you lost, I profess by the hand of God. A few days from today, you will receive a phone call. You will get a letter. It will say congratulations. It will congratulate you. Your story will change. We be made into you. For the night, but joy. It comes in the morning. I prophesy. Heaven restore you. Glory restore you. Power restore you. Angels restore you. I don't know who you are. Get ready! What God is about to do? Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, it has not entered the heart of man. What God will do, it shall be good measure. Press down, shake it together, running over. You don't serve a dead God, you serve a mighty God. He's the same yesterday. He's the same today. He's the same forever. When God says yes, no man can say no. When God lifts you up, no man can pull you down. God is on your side. Power on your side. Restoration on your side. Lift your hands and restore. Raise another hand and restore. Raise one leg and restore. Raise another leg and restore. Turn around, restore. Scatter your head, holler, restore. Shout it three times. Shout again. Shout again. Shout again. Sit down. The Bible says, after the man was restored, the Bible says, and the butler forgot Joseph. Oh my God. It says, and yet, when the man, the butler got to the palace, the Bible says, however, the man did not remember Joseph. The man that promised him, all of a sudden forgot him when things became well with him. Child of God, men are fickle. Men are fickle. Today, they are trustworthy. The next day, you can't even your finger but I want you to know that my God is not a fickle God I want you to know that his promises are yay oh yes when God says yes no man can say no when God says it is your time no devil can stop you for who is he that says a thing and it comes to pass I feel power I came to prophesy what God said about you it will come to pass it will come to pass it will come to pass it may tarry it will not lie wait for it it will surely come to pass Allah said do it Lord said do it Lord what I feel in this place. I feel currents of power. The Bible says when the butler, when he got to the palace, the Bible 
Bible say he did not remember Joseph. Child of God, I want you to know that Joseph is a type of Jesus in the Old Testament. For when you read in Luke chapter 23, around verse number 42, you will understand that just as Joseph, when he was in the prison, he was kept between two prisoners, the butler and the baker. Even so Jesus, when he was on the cross, he hung between two thieves. And the Bible says, as the Joseph made a petition, he said, remember me when things are well with you in the palace. Even so, one of the thieves that was on the cross said to Jesus, he said, remember me when you get to paradise. I like how Jesus responded. He said, today, He said, today, you have been with me in paradise. But I like what Jesus is. He is not a man that he should lie. He has promised, today, you shall be with me in paradise. When I get to the palace, when things are well with me, I will not forget you. He said, I will never leave you, not forsake you. Even though a nursing mother we forget our child. I, the Lord, I will never forsake you. I will never leave you. If you go to the fire, I will go with you. If you go to the water, it will not drown you. Come rain or high water, yet though I walk through the valley and the shadow of death, I fear no evil. For the Lord is with me, I profess. The Lord is with you. He has not forsaken you. God is on your side. Let one hand say, Love. If you are watching online, type restore. Type restore. Somebody's marriage is being restored. Somebody's finance is being restored. Somebody's career has been restored. Type restore. Type it. Type it. Say, I am restored. So hear me. When the butler got before Pharaoh, the Bible said he forgot about him. But when Jesus Christ got before the Father, the Bible said he went as a high priest. He didn't go for himself. He went and remembered us before the Father. You remember what Jesus said. He said, I go to the Father to prepare a place for you so that as I am in the palace, you shall be there with me. Am I talking to somebody now? And that is why Jesus Christ, through his death, he reconciled us back to the Father. And the Bible said, there is therefore now no condemnation to them who are in Christ Jesus. Are you listening to me now? God said to tell you, he said, number one, I have remembered you. I said, God has remembered you. When you read in Acts, in Acts chapter number 10, around verse number 4, the Bible says, and the Lord sent an angel to appear before a man named Cornelius. He said, Cornelius, your prayers and your arms, they have come before God as a remembrance. I don't know if I have men and women here who have been praying and waiting upon God. You have been fasting, trusting God. Oh Lord, how long will this continue? Congratulations. God said to tell you, he has remembered you. Your offerings are remembered. Your tithing are remembered. Your service is remembered. Your fasting is remembered. Jump on your feet and thank you, Lord. Somebody say remember. In Genesis chapter 8 and number 1. The Bible says, and the Lord remembered Noah and every living thing that was in the ark. Put one hand up, say, Lord, remember me. In Genesis chapter number 9, in verse number 15, the Bible said, the Lord said to Noah, he says, my covenant, I will remember my covenant that I had with you. I will never again destroy the world with flood. The Bible says in Genesis, in chapter number 10, in verse number 22 the Lord Bible says and God remembered Rachel and he opened her womb somebody say Lord remember me the Bible 
days when you read in first Samuel I feel power in chapter 1 and 19 the Bible says and Elkanah he says and they rose up and they worshiped the Lord and they went to their house in Ramah and the Lord Elkanah knew his wife and the Lord remembered Hannah and the Lord remembered Hannah hey somebody here as you leave this house today you shall be remembered as you get to your house you shall be remembered i don't know what you are looking for heaven said he has remembered you oh yes somebody say lord remember me no wonder the bible says in psalm chapter number 106 when you read in verse number four the bible says and the psalmist said oh lord remember me in the favor that you bear it to your people somebody said remember me with favor the bible says in isaiah chapter 38 in verse number two he said and Ezekiah turned his face towards the wall and said oh god remember me remember my service in your house and the bible said god turned death around there is somebody under the sound of my voice you have been waiting upon god you have been serving God. You have been devoted in the house of God. Heaven said that thing you have been doing for him is about to be your open door. Your tithe is about to open your door. Your commitment to church attendance is about to open your door. Say, Lord, do it for me. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. In Malachi, this is the one I like. Oh, in Malachi 3 and 16, the Bible says, they that fear the Lord, they spoke often one another. And the Bible says, and the Lord heard them. And a book, and a book, he says, and a book of remembrance was opened to them. A book of remembrance. Do you know, child of God, that any time you do something for God, it is written down in a book. Every time you win a soul, it is written in a book. Every time you bring a tithe, it is written in a book. Every you say not to sin it is written in the book god said to tell you everything has been written in the book and you have entered the season where that book shall be open that book shall be open and by reason of this book somebody's story is about to change i say your story is about to change heaven we open that book on this altar i declare your book of remembrance let it open now Lift one hand, say, Lord, open my book. Say, Lord, open my book. If you are watching online, you are not left out. Connect to this declaration. Type it online, say, Lord, open my book. Type it now, say, Lord, open my book. If you are watching from the nations of the world, type it now, say, Lord, open my book. Open my book. Open my book. The Bible said that night the king, the king could not sleep. That night the king could not sleep. And he said, Open to me the book of the Chronicles. I prophesy as your book is read, your angels are dispatched. Your angels are dispatched. No wonder the Bible says in Nehemiah 13 and 14, he said, remember me, Lord. He said, remember me. In Jeremiah 15 and 15, he said, Lord, thou knowest, visit me. He said, remember me and visit me. Sit down. What does it mean, child of God, when God remembers you? Does it mean that God forgot about you? No, don't be religious. Because the Bible says he remembered you. So if he remembered you, sit down, son. It means somehow he may have forgotten. You know, there are some folks who will not sit but in their heart they say, hey. <laughs> They will not say it openly, but in your heart, hey. It's like that little boy in school. The boy was being rowdy. The teacher said, sit down, John. John said, I will sit down, but in my mind, I'm standing. <laughs> and so, but he said, the Bible said, the Lord remembered. What does it mean? 
Because the same Bible that says God remembered. It's the same Bible that wrote in Isaiah 49 and 15. He said, can a nursing mother forget her child? He said, can a nursing mother forget her child? That he will not give the child milk to suck. He said, it is possible. There are some lousy nursing mothers who may abandon and forget their child all day and not give him suck. He said, but I the Lord. I will never. He says, I have a tattoo. Your name, I have tattooed it in the palms of my hand. So then what does it mean when the Bible says that God remembered, remembered, remembered Noah. He remembered Hannah. Child of God is very simple. When you run to Psalm 102 and verse number 13. In Psalm 102, actually Psalm 105. When you run to verse number 17. Psalm 105 and 17. You will understand what it means. The Bible says he sent forth a man, even Joseph. Whom they sold for a slave. And the Bible says in verse 18. The Bible says they hurt his feet with iron. And they laid fetters upon him. But look at 19 and never forget it. The Bible says until somebody say until the time of his word came so when the bible says and god suddenly remembered joseph he's simply saying the time yeah, yeah. it simply means the time of joseph it has come i found your neighbor say my time has come come on say my time has come when the bible said god remember joseph it simply meant it was the set time no wonder some one or two in verse number 13 he said thou shalt arise and have mercy upon zion for the time to favor her yea the set time it has come I fight three neighbors and neighbor. It's my set time. My time has come. God is remembering me. It is my time for favor. When God says he remember Joseph, it means it's time for favor. I lost to tell you by divine remembrance. You are about to become a candidate of divine favor. God said to tell you, you are about to carry favor. It will follow you as you go. It will follow your heart. In your business favor, in front favor, behind favor, on your left favor, on your right favor, on Monday favor, on Tuesday favor, Wednesday favor, Thursday favor, Friday favor, Saturday favor, Hala favor. Say my time has come. Come and say my time has come. Come and say, type it, say my time has come. Come and say three times, my time has come. Come and say my time has come. If you are watching online, say my time has come. Type it now, say my time has come. My time has come. I don't want to meddle too much on this one. Number two. Somebody say number two. How many times am I telling you? Number two. Joseph said, in number one, he said, remember me when things are well with you. Oh, that, that, that line broke my heart. Remember me. Remember me. In other words, things will change someday. Hi, if you say, neighbor, how dare you commit suicide? How dare you be depressed? Don't let to this condition draw your conclusion. Your current chapter is not your final chapter. Are you hearing me now? Say very soon, things shall be well. Hey, chill with very soon, things shall be well. Rebecca, things shall be well. Mommy, things shall be well. I found your neighbor, say neighbor, don't cry. Things shall be well. You may be broke today, things shall be well. Your husband left you, it is well. Your husband broke your heart, it is well. You lost that job. It ain't over. It shall be well with you. I came to prophesy. It shall be well with you. Good measure. Press down. Shake it together. Running over. God will give it to you. What you lost is waiting for you. There is a harvest coming your way. There is a testimony coming your way. I found your neighbor. Say it is well. Say it is well. Say to the righteous, it is well.
I love the word of God. He said, remember me. It shall be well. Oh my God, I'm so encouraged. I am so encouraged. I am so encouraged. I got fire in my bones. I will not throw in the tower. I will not give up. Come rain or high water. Show your best shot, devil. Are you hearing me, church? Say it shall be well. and go home are you hearing me now on this juncture we can share the grace and go home say neighbor it shall be well stop it stop it stop it sit down sit down sit down sit down, sit down. because the way you are standing now something is just Joseph asked the man, he said to him, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, he said, show me kindness. When you get to the palace, tell somebody, show me kindness. God said to tell you, kindness, can I explain kindness to you? Can I show you what kindness can do? How kindness can change a man's story? There was a man by the name of Mephibosheth in 2 Samuel chapter number 9. When you read in 2 Samuel chapter number 9, when you read in verse number 1, the Bible said there was a man named named David. The Bible says one day he said, is there yet anybody left in the house of Saul? Because the house of Saul had been wiped away. And the Bible says and the Bible says, and somebody said we don't even know. The house of Saul has grown extinct. He said, but there's a servant named Ziba. And the Bible says he was a servant to Saul. And David said, go and call Ziba. And when Ziba came, David said to Ziba, are thou Ziba? He said, yes, my Lord. In the next verse, in verse number three, he said, is there yet any in the house of Saul that I may show? Not kindness. That I may show the kindness of God. Are you hearing me, church? He said that I may show the kindness of God. The kindness of man will come to you when you are deserving. The kindness of man will come to you when you make all the requirements. But the kindness of God, even when you don't deserve it, he will give you anyway. <laughs> said the kindness of God he said the kindness I'm about to show him is not the kindness of man because the kindness of man can only go so far but the kindness of God it will go all the way it will go all the way the kindness of man can do little for you but the kindness of God will look for you even though you are in the club you are drinking like a fish he will show you kindness when the enemy says it's your time to die the kindness of God will say no when they shot an arrow and you desire to die the kindness of God said no I am here to tell you I feel power as you hear the sound of my voice the kindness of God it will fall upon you 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 shut kindness shut it three times shut again shut again shut again If you are watching online, if you are watching online, say, type kindness of God. Type it now, kindness of God. Type it, type it now. Type it and like this message. Say kindness of God. Kindness. Kindness. Somebody, you are about to enjoy an open door. Not 
because you prayed. Not because you fasted. But because God says, I just want to do her good. I, I just want to just, I just want to just show, show her goodness. No wonder David says, surely, goodness and mercy will follow me. Hey, Anamaka to suffer. Jaka Pasca Engrodos. Jeketum de Lebangre Discofa. Jaka Taka Paka Dike Pacata. Jaka Tusca Fanta. Ele Cupanada. E Jaka no Eteba. Jaka Taka Tucada. Ila Catocoto. Receive the kindness of God. Receive the kindness of God. Receive the kindness of God. Can I talk to you? To you, where the kindness meets Mephibosheth, the Bible said Mephibosheth was in a God forsaken place called Lodiba. The Bible said that Mephibosheth was in Lodiba. Somebody said Lodiba. What is Lodiba? Lodiba means a place of no pasture. You didn't hear what I said. Somebody said no pasture. How do I explain that to you? It doesn't mean brown pasture. Somebody says zero pasture. Many of you watching me now, you left your country. You flew to America. For what? Greener pasture. You left where you were in Africa. Or whatever country you come from. You came to America for what? Greener. So when it says greener, it means in your country, the grass was green somehow. Maybe artificial color, but it was green. It may not be green enough, but at least it was what? Green. So you now look yonder and you say, ah, the green, the grass in America is greener. So let me go for greener pastures. <laughs> Sir, in, in Lodiba, there was no pa. No, why you say pasture? There was no pa. Mommy, there was no pa. No, there has to be a pasture for we to know whether it's brown or green. Lordy Ba is where men go and they are forgotten. Lordy Ba is where dreams perish. Lordy Ba is where men with great destiny go and you will never hear their voice. And that is where the enemy put Mephibosheth. But when God was about to change his story, the Bible says, and the king said, he says, and he said, where is he? He said, he's in the house of Makai. Somebody say house of Makai. In a place called Lodiba. Say, Lord, get me out of this house. Come and say, Lord, get me out of Lodiba. Come and say, Lord, get me out of Lodiba. And the Bible says, and the king said, and he brought Mephibosheth out of Lodiba. Say, Lord, get me out of this house. And when the king appeared, when Mephibosheth appeared before the king, the king said, Adam Mephibosheth. He said, yes, my Lord. He said, from today, I restore to you. He said, fear not. He said, fear not. I will show you what? Kindness for the sake of your father. And by reason of this kindness, I will restore to you all the things your father lost. I will restore to you all the God that we are closed. I will restore. I feel power. All that the enemy took from you. No wonder the Bible says in Joel chapter number 2 in verse number 25 he said that we restore the years that the canker worm age the years that the locust age I am here to tell you by divine kindness there's about to be a restoration the years you lost it shall be restored by divine kindness you are about to prosper by divine kindness you will set up this year by the kindness of Jehovah receive a job by the kindness of God receive your husband receive your child receive your money say Lord show me kindness somebody said the kindness of God so what was the first one 
He said, remember me. What's the second one? The kindness of God. Number three. Somebody say number three. He said, mention me to the king. Hey, he said, mention me to the king. Can I tell you what God said to tell you? Hey, Amana Kapaya. Joseph, may God mention you to your helpers. I said, God will mention you to your helpers. I said, God will mention you to your helpers. I said, God mention you to your helpers. I said, God will mention you to your helpers. Anyone in position to make a decision that will favor you, wherever your helper is, I connect them to you. May heaven connect you to your destiny helper. God will mention you to your helper. He will mention you to your helper. Say, Lord. I like it all. He didn't say mention me to the gate man. He didn't say mention me to your peers. Mention me to Pharaoh. He said mention me to Pharaoh. It mentioned it matter who knows your name. Oh. Oh, yeah. eh? All this contact you just have on your phone, only you 5,000 contact. <laughs> None is producing. <laughs> he didn't say, mention me to your association. He said, mention me to Pharaoh. And that Oh, Maka discover. He did do me. He did do me, make I tell you. Hey! The grace of God is upon me. And my eyes, they are open. I prophesy. God, we announce you to a king. I said, God, we announce you to a king. He will announce you to a great man. A great man will help you. simple prayer for you. May your star not shine before idiots. You didn't hear me. I said may your star may not shine before idiots. They are meant to offer. If your star shine before idiots, they will hate you. They will sell you. They will betray you. The same dream that failed that Joseph told his brothers, they hated him. When he interpreted dream to Pharaoh, Pharaoh said, is there a man like this? Where can we find such a man? Carry my ring. From today, I am Pharaoh. Nothing will move. Ah, except ah. No wonder he said, therefore, wherefore Jesus, God has highly exalted him and has given him a name. Just the way Pharaoh exalted Joseph, is on so Jesus Christ is exalted. God will lift you up. my star appear before kings no wonder some 60 and 1 they say arise and shine for the light is come and this glory shall be risen upon you he said kings we come to the brightness of your rising sit down there is a great man in Dallas a great preacher in Dallas there was a time the man used to vibrate, roar, not to deny as tone teacher. <laughs> Did it just back in the day? The man will roar, but now he has tone teacher. <laughs> Where did the story change? The man has been vomiting fire for a long time. One day he was asked to come preach somewhere. And, and actually some, he went somewhere to, 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 for a convention. And the guest preacher did not show that day. 
So I said, okay, who will now preach? Please, you preach. No, actually, the guest preacher was running late. <laughs> so please, you preach for 15 minutes while the head honcho. You know, when God wants to announce you, he knows how to make all things. Even a flat tire work for your good. And so the head honcho somehow was caught in traffic. So they gave the mic to a man named Dexter, Thomas Dexter Jane, Jakes. And the man carried the mic 15 minutes. He roared like a lion. And coincidentally, incidentally, happenstantially, the late great man, Paul Crouch, the owner of TBN, he happened to enter his, his living room. He was hungry. He wanted to have a sandwich. So he went into the fridge and opened to make himself a turkey sandwich. And while he was the owner, the founder of TBN, and so while he's making some turkey sandwich, he hears a black man from the Black Hills of West Virginia. The man was roaring like a lion. The man put the turkey down and said, Jesus, 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 who is this man? Who is this man? Who is this man? He picked up his phone. Hello, hello. Who is this man preaching? We don't know him. We don't know him. Find someone that know him. Find If you really want it, you will come on Friday. Because number four is the title of the message. Are you hearing me now? I said number four is the what? Is the title of the message. He said, remember me. Mention me to Pharaoh. Show me kindness. And what? Get me out of here. Stand to your feet. Stand to your feet. If you want the rest, come on Friday. It is time to pray. It is time to pray. I am here to announce to you divine remembrance. I don't know where you are in life, but God said to tell you, he's uprooting you. The Bible says in Exodus 20 and verse 2, it says, I am come to deliver you out of the house of bondage. In Psalm 40 and 
22. He said he brought me out of the mary clay. Lift your hands say, Lord. Come and say, Lord. Get me out of here. Say, Lord. As I begin to pray. Remember me. And visit me. And visit me. Now listen. The Lord told me to lead you in prayer. That's why I'm closing very early. I want us to pray. When you read, child of God, when you read, in Jeremiah 15 and 15, Jeremiah 15 and 15, he said, oh Lord, thou know it. Remember me and what? And visit me. How can you Father, in this season, in this last quarter of the year, Father, remember me and visit me. Child of God, please look for a comfortable spot. Because the Lord said, put them to prayer. Lift your hands and my father, my father. My, my father, father, my father. As I begin to pray. As, as I, I begin, begin to pray. pray. Remember me. Remember me. This last quarter of the year. This last quarter of the year. By divine remembrance. By divine remembrance. Visit me. Visit me. Change my story. Change my story. Remember me. Remember me. Visit me. Visit me. Change my story. Change my story. Listen to me. I wanted to obey this instruction. Whether you are in house or you are watching online or you are watching from overflow, please don't disconnect yourself. It doesn't matter if you are. Just make sure you pray. The Lord said, lead them in prayer. The Bible says, when you read in Psalm 20 and verse 3, Psalm 20 and 3, David said, remember my offerings. Remember my what? My offerings. How many of you have been giving offerings to God? Lord, remember my offerings. He said, the Lord, remember your what? Offerings. When you read in Acts chapter 10, in verse number 4, the Bible says the Lord said to Cornelius, he said, the Lord has remembered your prayer and your offerings. Lift your hands. Say, Father. Father. Remember my offerings. Remember my offerings. Remember my tithes. Remember my tithes. Remember my seed and sacrifice. Remember my seed and sacrifice. Oh, Lord, remember me. Oh, Lord, remember me. And visit me. And visit me. Remember my tithes. Remember my tithes. Remember my offerings. Remember my offerings. Lord. What my prayers could not do. What my prayers could not do. What my fasting could not do. What my fasting could not do. Remember my offerings. Remember my offerings. Do it for me. Don't 
Listen to me. In this house, we don't sell water. We don't sell oil. We don't sell mantle. We pray. Tell somebody pray. Pray. In Isaiah 38 and verse number 2, a man that was supposed to die, the Bible said the man, Ezekiah, turned his face and said, Lord, remember me. And he turned his face and said, remember me. Because in verse number 1, the Bible says, a prophet told him, he said, you are going to die. Somebody said, I shall not die. I shall not die. Put your hand on your head. Say, I shall not die. I shall not die. He says, and the Lord sent Ezekiah, Amos, to him and said, put your house in order, you shall surely die. And as the man left, Hezekiah turned his face. He said, Lord, remember now my sacrifices, my service in your house. Remember, I'm an usher. Remember, I'm a singer. Remember, I have been joining pastorage to win souls. Remember, my tithe. Remember, Say, so lift your hands. Say, so Lord, every death. Lord, Lord every, every death. death. I beg you, take this prayer seriously. We are arresting the spirit of death. Say, so Lord. Lord. Every death. Every death. That the enemy. That the enemy. Has prepared. Has prepared. For me and my house. For me and my house. Every spirit of death. Every spirit of death. Looming over my life. Looming over my life. Looming over my household. Looming over my household. As I pray. As I pray. Remember me. Remember me. I cancel it. Remember me. Remember me. Destroy the spirit of casting. Destroy the spirit of death. Remember me. Remember me. Break the yoke of death. Break the yoke of death. Remember me. Remember me. Cancel death. I cancel death.
don't sit at home. It is an arrow that makes a Christian sit down at home when there is a, an avenue to come to church. Come and say, show me kindness. Show me kindness. In 2 Samuel chapter 9 and 3, the Bible says, and David said, I want to show someone the kindness of God. Lift your hands. Father, in this season of my life, God, show me the kindness of God. Amen. Oh my goodness, you don't know how this can change your life. You don't know how this can change your business. You don't know how this can wipe your tears. You don't know how this can settle you. Lift your hands and say, my father, my father. My father, my father. Oh God of my father. Oh God of my father. In this season of my life. In this season of my life. Show me the kindness of God. 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 In this land of America. In this land of Houston. In this land of Houston. In this land of Texas. In this land of Texas. Show me the kindness of God. Show me the kindness of God. Show me the kindness of God.
Pharaoh and a slave, not an Egyptian slave, an immigrant slave. Are you following this, 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 this thing? Yes, sir. Pharaoh and an immigrant slave. Lift your hands. Say, Lord, mention my name. Lord, mention my name. Lord, mention Pastor Rich. Lord, Lord mention, mention, mention the ears of my helper. In the ears of my helper. Lord, mention Omega Fire Ministries. Lord, mention Omega Fire Ministries. In the ears of my helpers. In the ears of your helpers. Listen, listen. If whatever you do, if you are a businessman, Father, mention my business. In the ears of clients, Lord, mention my resume. In the ears of my employers, Lord, mention my name. This is the time of any if you are if you have anything that represents your business now, just lift it up. Say, Lord, mention my business. Lord, mention, Lord, mention Pastor Rich. Lord, mention Pastor Rich Akahoa. Lord, mention it in the ears of my help. Mention it in the ears of my help. Any man or woman. Any man or woman. In this land of Houston. In this land of Houston. The land of Richmond. In the land of Richmond. In Sugarland. In Sugarland. In Katy. In Katy. In Missouri City. In Missouri City. In Spring, Texas. In Spring, Texas. In Texas. In Texas. In America. In America. Mention my name. Mention my name. In the ears of my helpers. 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 In Lord release someone that will recommend me. Someone, someone that will recommend in me. In the ears of my helper. In the, in the ears, ears of, of my helpers. helpers. You see how, how listen, listen. You, you see how fine you are now, sisters. You are very pretty. Don't you know there is a brother somewhere looking for a good wife like you? But he now he's on Facebook, he's on TikTok, he's on 
He's on tender. Tinga. How do you know you there? He's he's looking for a good woman like you, a pray woman like you. So imagine now, the sister to that brother, you now work in the same place. He says, Ah, sister, are you single? I have a fine brother. Can I? It will happen to you. Amen. As you hear the sound of my voice, the person that knows your helper, that person that also knows you, I connect you to your helper. Amen. The intermediary between you and your helper, as your aim may come out now, I release them. Amen. If I hear Release someone. Release someone that will recommend me. That will, that will recommend me. My business. My business. My resume. My resume. My career. My career. To my helpers. To my helpers. Are you ready now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Lift your right and say, "My father, my father." My father, my father. This year. This year. As I pray. As I pray. Release my intermediary. Release my intermediary. The man or woman. The man or woman. That will connect me to my helper. That will connect me to my helper. As I pray now. As I pray now, let them manifest. Let them manifest. Let them manifest. Let them manifest. Record that God Lord, Somebody said, Lord, get me out of this house. Lord, get me out of this house. In Exodus chapter 20 and verse 2, the Lord says, I am come to bring you out of the house of bondage. Lift your right hand, say, My father, my father. My father, my father. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. As I pray. As I pray. Bring me out of altars. Bring me out of altars. Out of captivity. Bring me out of captivity. Out of powers. Bring me out of power. That is holding me captive. That is holding me captive. Bring me out of affliction. Bring me out of affliction. Bring me out of delay. 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 Bring me out of shame. Bring me out of shame. Bring me out of mockery. Bring me out of mockery. Bring me out of lies. Bring me out of lies. Bring me out of disappointment. Bring me out of bondage. 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 Bring me out of
Amen. Amen. When there is a marine spirit, uh -huh. whether you have been held by spirit husband, you are held by spirit wife, anything holding you captive, when there is a shrine, when there is a cover, where they are tied here, I command be delivered. Amen. Amen. Right now, as you hear the sound of my voice, I break you out of captivity. Amen. I break you out of captivity. Amen. The yoke of death is broken. Amen. The yoke of delay is broken. Amen. I say it is broken. Amen. I say it is broken. Amen. Touch the keys. Paros Kadia. Kneel down. Menagadebegadegadesh. Somana Badabaha. Esadama Nakatuska Baha. Not your head. Nakusa Fata. Jakatuska Pa. Makatesko Fataya. Yekuba Andeskupa. Psalm 91 and verse 1. The Lord hides you. Under the shadow of his wings, Amen. the Lord hide you Amen. in the shadow of the Almighty. Amen. I cancel the counsel of the wicked. Amen. I cancel the plans of the enemy. Amen. I destroy Amen. the intentions of the enemy. Amen. I decree you are preserved. Amen. You are preserved. Amen. You are preserved. Come, come, come quickly. Shatama negadehe. Montos A thousand will fall at your side. Amen. Ten thousand at your right hand. Amen. It will not come near you. Amen. I cancel the verdict of the wicked. Amen. Every hour of fire, thy fire it back. Amen. I decree that God of my father preserve you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Touch it for me. So, Shakatosko Frate Manda Gadeska Mano Hotola. Ring it for me. Ring it for me. Say we not die. Say we not die. I will not die. I will not bury a loved one. I will not bury a loved one. Say we not die. I will not die. Say we not bury a loved one. I will not bury a loved one. Say we not die. Come, sister. I will not die. I will not bury a loved one. I will not bury a loved one. I cancel caskets. I cancel caskets. I cancel funerals. I cancel funerals. I cancel death. I cancel death. Every arrow of death. Every arrow of death. Fire to my house. Fire to my house. I fire it back. I fire it back. Open your mouth. Balado kadia balado do. Esa balado shagede. I fire it back. 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 The Lord, put your hand on your bosom. Man. Call your son's name. Call his name. Say, Lord, show him the kindness of God. Call his name. Say, Lord, on this altar, show my son the kindness of God. Please, if you have a son or a daughter, you're in the audience, call your children. Father, show my children mercy. 
Call your children, call their name. I decree the kindness of God. Touch your son. The kindness of God that does not care about evidence. The kindness of God that does not care about any ordinance or protocol. I release that kindness. Package it. By the power of the Holy Ghost. I decree the kindness of Jehovah. So toko banaha. Lord out of bondage and captivity. Jesus. Nakuta lamaha. The Lord bring you out from where men put you. Anyone here that the enemy have put in a pit or a dungeon. Anyone here that the enemy have put in captivity. As you hear the sound of my voice. Wherever men put your destiny. Wherever they drew you. Any pit of affliction. Anywhere they put you. By the hand of an angel I pull you out. I pull you out. Amen. Amen. I pull you out. Amen. The Lord remember you. Come hold your wife. Makatuska Vanta. First Samuel 1 and 19. The Bible says, and the Lord remembered Elkina. The Lord remembered Hannah. I decree. Divine remembrance touch the keys. Shakatuskapa power. The Holy Ghost. Nakuskapa. Power. Nanamash. The decree. The Lord remember you. This year. Makatuskapa. Zakatola Mamanaya. Jeketeko Palakata. Jakatus Agama. Yelekaba. Jana Nakapaye. The God of heaven. Your time has come. Jesus. I bless you. I bless you with divine remembrance. Come, son. six and verse four remember you in this favor Shatuba Ramana Katuskaba living Jakatuskabaha I decree Nashaya la Mamana Namanegede Akatonde de Bana di Badabu Sikata Lord remember Steve the Bible says in Genesis eight and one and the Lord remembered Noah the Lord remember you. Jesus name. You are blessed. You have come sir. Come. Come. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Mando Skaba. Anywhere men put you. Anywhere men put you. By reason of jealousy and hatred. Sir, I don't know you, but I am sent by God. In the name of Jesus, the angels that God has given to work with me, let them relocate you. Amen. Power. In the name of Jesus, I decree the Lord restore, restore. Every one of you under the sound of my voice. Four things will happen to you this year. Four things will happen to you this year. Number one, wherever you are watching from, in-house, online, overflow, 
May God remember you. Amen. Number one, the Lord remember you. Amen. If you are watching online, type it, say, Lord, remember me. Number two, God show you kindness. I say, God show you kindness. Number three, the Lord release your helper. Receive the helper. Receive the helper. Number four, receive a mighty deliverance. I said, receive a mighty breakthrough. Receive a mighty open door. Come out of your father's house. Get out of your altars. Get out of evil foundation. Get out of that shrine. Get out of that coven. Get out in the name of Jesus. Somebody celebrate God. Celebrate God. Now listen to me. God bless you. Please sit down. I like how we are closing very quickly today. So I like it. I beg you. I started this service making an appeal. I'm closing this service with the same appeal. I beg you. If indeed the Lord has said this man is your pastor. I beg you allow me pastor you well. Cooperate with me. Don't miss prayer meetings on Fridays. I beg you. I beg you. Hallelujah. Please this Friday, this week is a very special week for us. Somebody say special week. On Tuesday's Bible study, are we together? What time? Seven. Then this Friday, somebody said this Friday. We are having our sixth year anniversary. Ah, oh, come on. I wish you were rejoicing. So on Friday, it's going to be a fire night. Somebody say fire night. fire night. So please don't come at 7 p.m. Come at what? 9 p.m. Please pause this for me. Pause it. it will, what time? Media, pause it for me. 9 p.m. Hallelujah. Somebody say 9 p.m. Hallelujah. That day we have guest ministers. We have uh, uh, our pastor from New Jersey. Him and his wife. These guys are fire couples, I tell you. I'm telling you, don't miss them. Don't miss them. They are coming together as a duo. <laughs> Hallelujah. And then we are having guest minister Shei Alish. Hallelujah. Is he Alish or Alesh? Okay, you know the name. <laughs> he will be coming here to bless us and lead us in heavy praise and worship. I mean, it's going to be something else here. So please, I beg you, come on time. Somebody say, come on time. Come on time. Amen. Please, this week, how many of you get my text messages? If you don't get it, let me, let me see. If you don't get my text, let me see your hands. Oh, wow. You don't get my text? So you mean my angels don't communicate with you? <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm just kidding. Where is... Um... Beloved, come. No, no. Sister, come. Stay bay. Please, after the service, please meet Sister Abehi. Give her your name and your phone numbers. I will add you to my, uh, my, my list. Amen. This week, today, actually... I'm going to send out a text now for you to receive the flyer. Wear the flyer every day. Somebody say, wear it every day. I beg you, put it on WhatsApp. Let your WhatsApp be a, let it be a podium. Don't put nonsense on your WhatsApp. Put the gospel. Somebody say gospel. Don't you know your haters come to your website, to your, to your page? Don't you know your ex be checking you out? Tell us see what you're up to. And then you now fall into his hand. You now put, oh, I'm so lonely. Oh, oh me, oh my. I wish you would put on the, I can't wait for Friday. <laughs> and he'll say, ah, Friday, is he going to the club? Ha, has she gone over me? <laughs> Please upload on your page, amen. I will check your page. If I cite it, that your page is empty, I will call you. <laughs> I beg you, join me to, do you know how small Houston is? Somebody say it's very small. Like that we can take it. Just hold my hands. I will send it to you. Please upload it. Send it to your friends and your family. 
let's have a good time on Friday. So on Friday is a fire night, Saturday, 6 p.m. And then Sunday, somebody say good news. Come on, say good news. Oh my God, I wish I had prophetic people in the house. <laughs> on, fr on Sunday, I'm going to reveal a big news. Somebody say big news. Don't, don't let people tell you online. Make sure you are in-house. Now, I want to invite all our wonderful viewers, wherever you are watching from, especially if you live near, just make sure you drive down, check into a hotel, have church with us, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So three jammed service. If you are, in fact, if you are watching from anywhere in America, take a flight, check into a hotel, check into a hotel, and just be with us. Friday service, Saturday service, Sunday, and you fly back. Amen. This is a homecoming service. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you. It was who's uh, was it somebody's birthday, Sister Eno? Is your birthday? Come, come, beloved. Is it your birthday? Oh, come, 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 come. Is it your birthday today? Oh, can we sing for her? We are my musicians. Happy birthday to you. Who else is having a birthday today? Happy birthday. So, brother, come, 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 come. Wait, 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 wait. Come, 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 come. Wow, look at all these wonderful birthdays. Oh, yeah. Victoria, you too? Oh, come on. Come on, guys. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hallelujah. I rejoice with you. Amen. Please, stand, stand here. Stand here. Up, 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 up. You are going up, up, up. Come, beloved. I'll take your hands. You are going up, 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 up. Wow, elevation. Look at that one walking. <laughs> walking like Ojuku. Come, come, come. You are going up, sir. Stand here, stand here. It's your birthday too? Oh, baby, baby's going up. Wow. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I rejoice. Amen. Can we sing for them? One to go. Happy birthday to you. remember you as you stand on this altar I decree may God show you kindness I decree may God mention you to your helper may the Lord bring you out of all your afflictions in Jesus name amen happy birthday God bless you God bless you God bless you happy birthday happy birthday Happy birthday to you. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Please make sure we celebrate you if it's your birthday. Always let's, let's celebrate you. Amen. God bless you. Let's take up an offering and let's honor the Lord. Is there any other thing I'm missing? Did I miss something else? The what? Woo! Do we have any visitors from outside of Houston? You're coming from, you came from outside Houston. Oh, please come, come beloved. You came from outside Houston. Come, come. Come, beloved. Can we just appreciate God for her very quickly? If you are in the overflow and you came from outside Houston, come. Hallelujah. If it's your first time here on Sunday, come. Your first time this Sunday. If it's your first Sunday, come. Come. If you are in the overflow, if it's your first Sunday, come. First Sunday, come. God bless you, sir. I want to see you after service. Where did you come from today? Oh, from Atlanta. God bless you. Amen. God bless you. Can we just rise and share the benediction together? Please stay here with me. Don't go. Take up an offering. Everyone, take up an offering. Whatever you're watching from, take up an offering. Let's share the benediction together. Father, we thank you for our offerings. Take something in your hand. Whatever you are watching from, please take something in your hand. 
Lord, as your people are given, I pray, may the four things that have been mentioned, Lord, let it speak in their lives. Look upon their offering and bless them. May your offering speak for you. In the name of the Lord Jesus. My head is a good head. My life is a good one. Favor is on my side. Mercy is on my side. Grace is on my side. In Jesus name. Amen. Please like this message. Like this message. Like it. Subscribe. Subscribe.